Hello, hope you're doing great. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. Quick video for you guys. Since I get asked this question quite often, how I move an aquarium with the water, substrate, plants, and fish still in it. We'll cover that and also do a little bit of catch up on what's going on here plus what's coming up next. Assume you're on risk when doing this because you just never know how a tank's built. I've never had any problems with just moving it like this, but please do it at your own risk. Saying that, let's do it. These are the three tanks that we end up moving. You can see this one still doesn't have much water because I don't want my rope fish escaping. So I gotta keep their water level low. The rest is evaporation. It's been real dry here, so topping off, I just add mineralization and scaling to my aquarium, so it's not really worth it. That's why I wish I had a rainwater collection. We'll get to that in the future, though. We're planning on doing lots here at this fish barn, so stay tuned for all that. Hit the subscribe button because it's about to get crazy and awesome as far as aquatics goes. Here in this new fish room we got going. All right, time to start emptying it. These are exciting times. And I should get this off the cart since these are down on the ground. I want to get as much out as possible. Ah, much better. And I am going to go ahead and leave the rope fish in here too. They should be all right. I'll just add water little by little. Hey, who knows? Maybe it'll trigger them to breed. These guys are super cool though. Love my rope fish. You're like, what is going on? Where's the light? And as you can see, I got the water level pretty low on that. Can't even see the rope fish. They're hiding. But I'm gonna wanna tuck those plants back in. Now to empty the next tank, I would just move this tank by. As you can see, I gotta play Jenga. Door's right there, can't empty it out. I gotta move things around just to get that over here. But once I move that, then I can put these stands over here for the meantime. This isn't gonna be their forever home. But they'll be out of the way, then I can start opening things up around here, which will be awesome. Of course, after I build some more racks. All right, got that one empty, got those moved over. Now we can finally get these in, woohoo! And I got my girl, Sarah, bringing in the muscles. And to help move these, these are worth every single penny. Demo, suction cup. First one in. Pretty cool, very nice. Two of them in. Now to get the 40 gallon over to here. This, and all this Daphne in here was actually smart enough to stay away from the hose. I don't know if it was from the light being in the back, but I didn't suck any of them up. Smart little things. All right, 40 gallon is in. It's gone. Those are moved over. Can finally move around. We beat Jenga. You know, I'll get the rest of the tanks here later. I'd like to get lights up first. Now time to start working on clearing that out, clearing this out so we can start doing those racks. Just to have this free space. Oh my God. So nice. And as far as adding water back, I'm gonna do like I did with these. Just add a little bit of water here and there every couple days. A little bit by a little bit. That way they don't get shocked. All right, got that stuff moved out and swapped around. Time to get to work on this. Ah, new day. Went ahead and got the lights running. And now I'm just gonna cut a ton of pieces for this. So this is pretty much all my measurements. Now time to start ripping through that pile. As you can see, the rope fish are fine. They're happy, feeding at their granule trough. One did hide because they came up. Such a cool fish. Look at them, look at the colors on them. Happy and healthy. Yum, 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 yum. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please hit that like button. That'd be awesome of you. Share this with anybody who you may think it may help or anything in the channel. Hit the subscribe button because we're going to be getting into building all this over here and what's going to go on there. And this still isn't even done yet. There's still a lot to do over there. And if you can see over here, we've got space to work on back there. Eventually, we're going to give a tour of this and everything else going on here. Trying to catch you guys up. So stay tuned for that. To all of you, 
who have been subscribing, supporting, hitting the like button, sharing, commenting, super chatting, ordering. My members, you guys, you guys are all absolutely amazing. As you can see, lights are turning off. It's getting late here. But I absolutely love all you guys. Thank you so much. You guys stay awesome. Until next time, everybody. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.